Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. So we talked about it last night, right? Big reflection point on uh, NASDAQ 100, actually the Qs uh, in specifics. You know, we talked about this big area here that today, and again, like I said in last night's video, you know, we weren't calling for you know, stock implosion, Armageddon, you know, recall, you know, remove of the remove of a potential lows. None of that. We, we talked about the area of the market that the queues had a very, very big run. And, you know, there, there was a good chance than not that the market was going to go lower. Nobody cares about being right. Right. It's, it's not what it's about. It's just again, it's just an opinion that I had last night and I felt, you know, equity prices could be softer. So going into today's session, you know, I woke up this morning saw the futures down like 200 points or so. You know, NASDAQ names really weren't down a lot. Uh, when you look at the final total today, you'll see, you know, 2% 2, 2 moves across the board to the downside. But here's the more, and we'll, again, we'll, we'll get to the individual pivots in a second. But, but here's the more really good news for the bulls, okay? The last two times, in the last week or so, that the Dow was down at least 500 points, okay, Nobody cared. And the reason why nobody cared, now that we've seen some really ridiculous swings in the last couple of months or so, down 1,200, down 2,000, down 3,000 points on the Dow, two, 300 points is like the new green, right? It's really absolutely nothing. When your mind starts going into a phase of normalcy, right? And now normalcy is 1,000 point each direction is normal. The market could be down 300 points, it's nothing. The market could be up 200 points, it's nothing. So we're trained to go numb, right? We're trained uh, to go to numb, you know, going numb to personal things in our lives. Uh, if you're down on your luck, eventually life almost kicks you to the head to so much that you're almost able to get it because you're so numb. And traders are exactly the same way. When you start seeing swings, aggressive ways, both sides of the market, up 1,000, down 2,000, we start forgetting about the actual scoreboard and really start concentrating on the individual, uh, individual trades. And the most amazing part of this tape right now is the beta names are just absolutely going insane. Nuts, okay? They started three, four days ago. They're continuing its rally. The futures were down at the lows of the day. Nobody cared. You, your, your, your stocks that are still putting up you know, big moves, your Teslas of the world, your Amazons of the world, right? Amazon, they're all going nuts. You know, Amazon's all still going nuts. Netflix continues to be an absolute monster. Uh, Roku today just went bananas, absolutely bananas. And they're just going one by one by one. And again, it really does show you that the old 10, 15, 20 years ago scoreboard matters doesn't matter anymore. And the matter of fact, not only did we not go down today, again, again, despite a one and a half percent move on the NASDAQ, uh, on the NASDAQ, the Qs closed with a green candle, which basically means they closed higher than they opened. And you combine that, right? You combine that with yesterday's strong move, and this is an inside day. If you're a bear, you cannot feel good about this, right? I'm not a bull, I'm not a bear. But you, you can't feel good about, they try to take down the Dow after, you know, a six, seven point, six, seven day massive move. They failed, and even though the bulls couldn't reclaim uh, this this big 150-day moving average. The point is, the bears couldn't reclaim the previous day's low, and I think that is the most important part. And you, if you combine that with the massive strength in the biggest speculation money names, and again, we've been saying this now for years. Even if you don't trade beta, right? You don't trade Google, you don't trade Facebook, you don't trade Apple and Amazon. Okay, you still have to understand the, the importance of these names because they end. They represent speculation money. And if hedge funds and mutual funds and, and retail traders uh, and prop traders, if everybody is not afraid and they're willing to bid up Amazon, 400 point run up, Tesla, 250 point run up, 
right? Netflix, 50 point run up. They're telling you that number one, they're comfortable, okay? They're numb to getting kicked in the face. We talked about yesterday and a little bit, a few minutes before, and now they are concentrated going forward. Now, again, the bear case is gonna be, well, their earnings season is gonna be crap for beta. Who really thinks they're going to beat, right? Who, everything is, in my opinion, this is at least my opinion, unless their business models are so broken, who has any expectations into earnings this quarter? Think about this, right? If every single company is coming out and says, well, we're not gonna go with forward guidance anymore, that's a safety net, that's the golden ticket, right? There's no expectations for any type of beat in this type of environment. And these companies are smart, they understand that. So they're setting the bar really, really low for earnings season, and all it takes for them basically to say is, well, things actually are not that bad, right? Literally with those words, and you're gonna continue this monster rally. So going into tomorrow's session, again, you really don't need to think. The fire is lit, right? The fuse is lit. These beta names are going nuts. And as we see them, they're just going one by one by one. Even the days that they rest, they go the next day, right? So for example, today, Apple rested, Nvidia rested, right? Shop more or less rested. Facebook more or less rested, right? And Amazon and Tesla continues to go and Zoom continues to go and Netflix to go. Again, would it really shock me that Apple, for example, wakes up tomorrow on this inside day? Would it really, really sh shock me to see Microsoft wake up on this inside day? Hell, would it shock me to see the cues wake up and start reclaiming this 212.70 to 213.00 level? And again, Look how much move you have, guys. This is the this is what every bull is looking for. We're just looking for that close, that first close above 212.75, 213. And this is an absolute hot pocket, man. And this thing could get really, really very aggressive. Earnings might be the catalyst or the lack of expectations of earnings. And unless a company says we're, you know, we're going out of business, you're gonna see a lot of, in my opinion, you're gonna see a lot of companies do very, very well, not necessarily reporting their earnings but the price reaction to them, because again, they already took away forward guidance, they took away any expectations, the bar is set super low, and all it takes to say is, hey, the quarter's actually not that bad to get a next wave of buying. So if you look at today's action, I mean, really, this, this market is just a, a really good trading vehicle, it really is. Uh, all you need to do is have a, an opinion, wait for that opinion to play out, um, the funny thing is last night when I made the, when I made uh, the video, right, uh, this was before Goldman Sachs upgraded Tesla, right? So I finished recording the video and I had it sell biased on Tesla going into today. And then the Goldman Sachs uh, up, uh, upgrade comes. And ironically, there was actually a really good pivot to the downside. We'll talk about that in a second. So let's talk about the pivots, right, guys? Boeing, really strong pivot yesterday. That 146 pivot traded right down to 140. Again, why was 140 such a big number going into today? Uh, and again, we talked about this 140 huge support held twice over the last several weeks, including yesterday for builds below can flush. So here was Boeing, right? Here was Boeing. Here was the 140, right? Here was the 140 low from uh, April the 7th. This is the 140 low from yesterday. It took out 140. I said it was, there's a shot it gets down to 135. It went down to 133. Uh, I took the short on the second entry off that 37. And stock got hit. Congratulations to all you guys who, who caught it all the way down uh, 140 to 132. Big move up, and there was actually a pivot uh, back to the upside. Uh, ZS, we covered this uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the morning strategy this morning. We put this on the feed. Uh, ZS just had a beautiful daily chart, okay? Uh, 6660, uh, 6675 needs to build. This was definitely the move of the day uh, for non-beta, okay? So here is the big, you know, here is the big uh, daily chart on ZS. Here is the 6675, right? 6660, 6675. It went to 70 bucks today. Just an absolute monster move on ZS. Uh, Netflix, again, continues to be just an animal. Animal, there's nothing really left to say. Again, the pure play on everybody sitting home. Again, if you haven't watched Narcos, and if you haven't watched Ozark, shame on you. Shame on you, damn it. Right from there and there, and you gotta do it. Uh, 414 needs to build. Netflix, just again, just a monster. Just an absolute monster. Uh, here is the four. Uh, here is the 414. 
Uh, here is the 414 right here. Look, look how many candles, guys. Again, this is what we talk about, channel versus price. Uh, 4, 413.70, 413.55, 413.80, 413.69. Once it took out the 414 level, just an absolute explosion. Went as, went as high as today, 434. Huge move, absolutely huge move. Uh, Facebook, not a big move down, but Facebook, 173.70. If it builds below, it can flush. Uh, here was Facebook. Here is the 173.70 right here. Uh, not a big move, went down to 72.80. But again, listen, not every single trade is gonna be this massive move. Again, you liked it, you don't need it. You don't like it, you like it, but you don't need it. So again, not every single thing needs to be a five run home run. Uh, NVIDIA, NVIDIA got down to the 76 area, never gave a second entry. Uh, again, here was Boeing 135 coming. Uh, BTAI never got down there. Uh, Netflix uh, take on the way up. ZS take on the way up. Uh, nice move on ZS. Uh, nice move on ZS. Facebook take on the way down. Uh, monster move on ZS. Here comes Boeing. Check, check, check. And then Roku exploded. So if you remember a couple of days ago, Roku came out with guidance, right? Unexpected guidance. They came out and had a really, really strong move, right? Pull up a move, 1280 after hours high. Yesterday was very lackluster, but the one thing I've learned for many, many years, I've realized that the day that they come out with upward guidance, there is a time they play possum and they show weakness that day and they kind of sell off, drift off to the end of the day and the next day they run. So I kind of had that in the back of my mind here. And this was the big spike here, uh, 106.75, 107, if it builds, can spike. And we saw ridiculous call buying coming in on Roku throughout the whole day. I mean, really, really throughout the whole day. Uh, we saw the 110s, the 115s. And, you know, here is the pivot, right? This whole channel here uh, was 107, right? 106.75, 107. So it took out that 107. It traded to yesterday's highs, right? Yesterday's high was that 108.60, right? 108.60. It built above 108.60, confirmed that, went to the after hours high of 112.80, right? 112.80 here, and put in a high today of 114.32. Uh, Just a really, really aggressive move on Roku. Uh, yeah, here we go. So, you know, here, here's, you know, here's the, the play, of, you know, here's the play. The one, you know, 107, here's 108.60s, takes them into this push, of course, in case it gets rejected. And then next thing you know, the stock really, really exploded. Uh, again, so my sell bias was into Tesla before yesterday's Goldman Sachs upgrade. And Tesla, again, is just the best stock. It really is. I, I, know I, I know I suck. I'm horrible. I say this every single day. But again, for, for those of you guys who do trade Tesla every single day, and it doesn't make a difference, long, short, up, down, it doesn't make a difference. This stock is absolutely the, the, the greatest two-way vehicle, no pun intended, that I, I, I've come across in the last 21 years. So amazing move. So 731, 730, if it builds below, can see the lows, flush hard potential. And again, here's Tesla, right? It was making lower highs literally the whole morning. You just see, you just saw it happening, right? As other stocks were getting stronger and stronger and stronger. I mean, you just kept on seeing high, lower high, lower high. So here was the 731. Everybody see that, guys? Here was the 731. It starts taking out the 731, takes out the 26, and just gets absolutely destroyed, goes all the way down to 710. So just a phenomenal, I mean, a phenomenal, phenomenal trader in Tesla. Honestly, tomorrow, I, I'm sell biased into tomorrow. I figured if, you know, stock is up like three, four days in a row, monster move, uh, basically put in all lower highs today. I will be looking for a sneaky channel to kind of confirm um, my initial thought going into tomorrow. I, I think if it starts, gets rejected into supply tomorrow and starts putting in lower lows and lower highs, I think there's a shot that we could get a pretty good flush uh, in the name tomorrow. I'll watch it. I'll definitely, definitely watch it, especially off the opening range, uh, 10 o'clock lows. But Tesla's just an amazing vehicle. Uh, 70, take on the way down. Uh, take on the way down. Again, best stock ever. It really is. Um, and that's it. And then I kept on putting 110.35 next day supply and yada, yada, yada. And the next thing you know, uh, everything's all good in the world. So again, the market continues to be uh, very, very, uh, very specific. I, I think beta right now is probably the hot, the hottest group out there. I just, I, I don't see anything else. 
uh, that's even comparable to what we're seeing in the Amazons of the world and Teslas and Netflix of the world. Again, are they due for a pullback? Look, of course, you know, I'm, I'm not naive to think they're going to go up every single day. But again, the most important part going into tomorrow's session on the macro view is let's watch the cues, see if they could finally reclaim uh, this upper daily supply of 1270s, 13. Uh, let's keep an eye for like second, you know, second day moves on Microsoft, for example, and on Apple, for example, and NVIDIA, for example. And at the same time, you know, I kind of like Boeing, right? I kind of like Boeing as well. I actually gave... Uh, I actually gave a pivot to the regular feed. Again, I always love to show people uh, the potential of how these pivots are and why they're damn, so damn strong. Uh, and if you look, uh, if you look at my regular Twitter feed, uh, I put this out. Uh, I put this out for the general public. What was it? One forty-two on you know one forty-two on um, one forty-two on, on 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 Boeing on the way back up, and stock went to. Uh, 148 and change. So uh, again, look, I, I think there's, there's definitely good opportunities on both sides tomorrow. Again, I, I want to be a little bit more cautious just because you, you don't want to get caught too early any enthusiasm to the upside. Again, some of these stocks have had ridiculous majestic runs. Uh, just by gravity alone, they're set for a pullback. Will they? It's a whole different story. Again, our opinions mean nothing. Our due diligence is everything and confirmation is the key. Guys, I love you. God bless. I'll see you all tomorrow. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 vault where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.